So this is from a company called Akio. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a mini projector, a mini, bear that in mind. And it is the O1 HDMI. It does a native resolution of 720 and it can do up to 1080p resolution or it supports 1080p resolution. Get it right, Yorkie. Dimensions. Dimensions are 5.4 by 3.5 by 2.8 inches. So it's nice and compact. And I'm looking forward to doing it. I do enjoy doing a projector or reviewing a projector. So thank you very much for sending that to me. As always, I will stick links in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. And also, if I can, if I can get any discounts, I will place them in the video description as well. So let's have a look, see what gets for your money. Now, I do expect it to be noisy or partly noisy on the fan, but you never know. We, we might get surprised if I can get it open. The next morning. Yeah, we've got a. want to see exactly what you get for your money. Hopefully a projector. Here's a manual. I will go through that. A remote control. Probably doesn't come with battery, but you never know. Yeah, again, you might be surprised. Just a basic remote control, nothing special. Wasn't expecting it to be anything fantastic, especially for the price. Uh, HDMI lead, looking at that, very nice. I mean, they didn't have to give you one, did they, really? So, HDMI, yeah, it's definitely a HDMI. Yep. So I know what you're thinking, what's it for? Well, this is, because it's so small, it's very portable. So this would be ideal for anyone who's got a small device, but wants a big picture, like a phone. Yes, it'd be ideal for that. I reckon that's about at least a metre, no, probably a metre. I'm not going to measure it, I'm just going to guess. It's about a metre. This could be, this could be, oh, could be a tripod. Oh, it is a tripod, a little mini tripod with adjustments on it. Du, du, du. Very nice. Are we getting there yet? And a power brick. That's quite a big one, actually. That's almost as big as the actual unit itself. Yes. So it's designed for the UK market, as you would expect, because we are in the UK. And some cleaning sticks with little buds on the end. I'm going to leave them in there. And that is for whenever you may need to clean it out. Hopefully you don't have to do it too often. And the baby itself. Oh, and that cute. Look at it. Look at it. It's tiny. So we have a forward and backwards button, OK button, up and down, power on and off. On the back, we have the power in. Oh, sorry. No, we don't. We have the I.O. We have power in, headset, HDMI, AV, and that would be AV out, and a USB. And then looking at that, I'll say that is USB 2.0, at a guess. I haven't read the instructions yet. On the side, we have an air vent, or it could be a speaker, keystone, and focus. I wouldn't have thought there'd be a lot of adjustment on there. The lens is on the front, as standard. No good on the back anyway, is it? On the other side, now that might be your, your fan or your cooler there. On the bottom, we have some rubber feet. We have a mounting connection for mounting it on a tripod, or a light stand, something like that. And we have a table mount adjustment as well. So this would be for adjusting the angle of the dangle. And voila, that is it. That is it. I mean, at the end of the day, there's two things I know you want to know. And that is, what's the quality of the actual image like? And how noisy is it? Maybe, maybe a third one. The third one being, is the sound quality going to be any good? Now, it's not going to be fantastic, I'm telling you now. For the amount of money this costs, and at the time of looking on the internet, is about £70. I wouldn't have thought the quality of audio is going to be anything special. But it should be audible. And hopefully, very connectivity. Very connectivity. Very connectable with your devices. So uh, with that, I'm going to set it all up, see how easy it is to set up. I'm going to do a decibel check, because you want to know how noisy it is, don't you? 
and we're going to have a little play about of it and see what you can connect to it. Hopefully your phone, hopefully HDMI, hopefully a USB stick and see what does work and what doesn't work because there will be some sort of format so it will say, or it will say, or oh, it doesn't recognise this, it doesn't work. We will find out, hopefully. Right, so now we're going to do an audio test. I'm doing it in two different ways. One, I'm doing it on my phone using this app and the other one, I'm using this meter, audio meter. Yes, I will have to be quiet and I will have to turn it on and let things settle down for a few seconds, right? And it is in my kitchen, so you might find that that might start up. I don't know. We will find out. But I'll try and be as quiet as possible. I know it's difficult for me, but I'll have a go. So what are we on at the moment? 73 decibels, according to that. Yeah, about the same. They're very similar. There's a slight difference, but here goes. Hope that gives you some sort of idea how noisy it is. And by the way, I'm very impressed. It is extremely quiet. A lot quieter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, very pleased so far. Just with the audibility or the noise level is very good. Now it only does the up and down on the keystone. You can't do left and right. But you have to remember, this is a budget one. So that looks about right. Memory stick to start with. Now I've already put some stuff on here, but I haven't really looked at it. I put some 4K on it because I know it's not going to work. So some videos won't work and some will. We will we'll see. Some are actually, you know, 1080p and things like that. Not supported. So if you just put your cursor over it and can't say not supported, okay, get off. Back button. All right. Scroll down. Let's go from left to right. Let's wait a second. Right, that one's supported. Yeah, come out of there, oops, come out of there too far, right, and the music, I think that one's supported as well, we will play one of these, let's do this one shall we, so it gives you a, like a little intro thing to look at, but if you click on it, it will start up into full screen, I'm not sure what the size of the screen is yet, but I will have a measure up, like I said, it is daylight, so you've got a bit of a daylight showing through, let me shut the other blinds, now, you might be thinking, oh, he's adjusted the colour. I'm telling you now, I haven't touched anything, and that is spot on, as far as I'm concerned. I will do some nighttime video. I want you to see what it's like in sort of daylight, nighttime, and yeah, pretty good. Let me adjust that volume. That is well impressive, though, isn't it? I've turned the volume down, but I will. Uh, Play a bit more because I'm sure you'll want to hear the quality of the audio. Hey, what about this one, Hellcat? It's a video that I made. Oh, it's not supported. And that is 4K, so yeah, that makes sense. Sure about that one? No, that's not supported. I pressed the button too soon, didn't I? Going to the next, that's not supported. That's not supported. That is, that's a Christmas one. Oh yeah, it's coming up at Christmas. It's a couple of months away. I thought this might be uh, pleasantly amusing to some people. Turn up volume. One thing I have noticed, just by listening to that little bit, the audio is very pleasing to the ear. I keep coming out by mistake. Yeah, audio quality, considering how much this costs, the size of it, it is very pleasant. Seek a brave fortune, be who would not in shame. You will find a fortune. No one will not be the fortune you seek. But first, first you must. <laughs> what do you think? So far, so good, I reckon. Like I said, I will do some nighttime ones, but I wanted to show you it working in sort of like daylight, but you know, darkened room. 
basically. And yeah, quality is brilliant so far. Music, I don't think I've got any music on there at the moment. Oh, I have, I have. Mindstream, uh, 8 Mile, Let's try that one. Very impressed with the audio at the moment. Yeah, brilliant. Right, photos. I don't think I've got any photos on there. Oh, need to go back, don't we? Photos. I don't think there's any photos on there, but I could be wrong. Oh, I could be wrong. <laughs> Let's just try one. Oh, right. Now, that could be the actual camera that took the photo doing that. I'm not sure. Let's try a different one. Yeah, it looks a bit, doesn't it? It looks a bit strange, like it's not got a lot of pixels. But, like I said, I'm going to plug it into the PC and see if that improves things in a second. One more. Yeah. Yeah, it works OK. Like I said, they wasn't brilliant. Text. Now, I don't have any text. I know that for sure. So, nothing for text. Sorry about that. Oops. Go back. Go back. There's got a back button on the remote, which is handy. And setting her up. I'm not going to actually set her up on Wi-Fi, but I will set her up on network offline so that, you know, it saves a little bit of time. And I will do phone mirroring, but... As you can see, you can do that. Here's your Bluetooth. Bluetooth is turned off at the moment. So perfect for mirroring. Like I said, we will try that out. AV connection, I've got nothing plugged in the AV connection. Yeah, so far so good. There's your mirror screening over there. Let's do the HDMI. Just give me a second while I set it all up. For the budget and for the size, I am very well impressed. Not just because, you know, it's quite quiet, but for the size, you can get a massive screen. I had mine at 118. Now, in the book, it says you can go up to 180 inches. That's humongous for a tiny little thing like this. Now, you do lose some quality, obviously, if you're going bigger and bigger. Well, hopefully it's obvious. But I had mine. It's limitations as well. Yes, they all have limitations. And the fact that you've got Bluetooth, you've got Wi-Fi, you've got HDMI, you've got mirroring, you've got everything really you need to do. USB for a start as well. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with straight out of the box. Didn't have to mess about colours to get them sorted. They was there for me. Audio was very good. The size of it is very good. And the quietness of it is very good. Definitely gets my thumbs up. I'm very impressed. And, you know, just doing the mirroring. What are you thinking about the mirroring? It, you know, playing about. All right, it doesn't look fantastic when I was doing my mirroring, but that might have been because on my phone, it dropped it down to, I think it was 480 resolution. Yeah, I should have put it back up, but I didn't. I wanted to show you it straight out of the box out of my phone, basically. Yeah, 480. <laughs> I thought, ah, oh, I should have adjusted that, but I didn't. There is a bit of delay there, but that is expected because you're going through Bluetooth. You're always going to get a bit of delay there anyway, but it's nothing extreme, as you could see in the actual video. So if you're thinking about buying one of these, and you're on a tight budget, I would recommend this. One thing to bear in mind, it works better in the dark, yeah? If you have some light coming through, or if there's too much light coming through, you're just gonna get washed out and it's not gonna be a very good experience for you. But, as you see, I did do some of it in the daytime and that was fine, and I've done some at night time when it is really dark, and that is the best time to do it. And it's proper, cinema footage it looked really good i'm just sorry i couldn't actually show you how good it was using my camera for some reason my camera was struggling to show off its best but it done what it could do definitely gets my thumbs up so with that if you're thinking about buying one or thinking about buying a budget one this could be the baby for you
And if you like this video, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you know what to do, give me a thumbs down, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you any money whatsoever. Thank you very much for watching.